welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be giving you guys an updated brow routine you guys have been giving me so many compliments on my brows on instagram so i thought just hey why not just share with you guys what i do and the things that i use so before we get into this video if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button thank you very much if you are a returning subscriber hey girl hey thank you for stopping by make sure you guys follow me on all of my other social media platforms that way you can stay updated with me on looks and things that i am pretty much getting into on a daily basis and without further ado let's get to this video all right you guys so before we go into like demonstration and show you guys how i do my brows i'm gonna talk about the tools and stuff that i use for my brows um depending on what kind of look i am going for i will use a pencil a powder or a pomade um sometimes i use pencils and pomades together or pencils and powders or pomades and powders i always switch it up all based off of what kind of look i am going for um there are times that i want to do natural looking brows or times that i want to do structured brows fluffy messy brows um there's like just so many different ways that you can pretty much do your brows so one of the key tools that i use um is tweezers and scissors because i have curly brows i've already trimmed mine so you won't be able to see it as much but usually when i go ahead and brush my brow hairs upward or in the direction that it's supposed to that it grows um, you'll see that it'll curl um, and that's just how I know I need to cut so scissors for grooming and then tweezers for any unwanted hair now if you guys can see this brow is a lot more structured and has a little bit more hair than this brow um, very sparse here and on, on the top of the brow like in this area and as well um, here at the tail whereas I'm pretty much have all this structured so I have all this hair up here and then right here and then it gets a little sparse here and towards the tail of the brow so my brows are a hot mess pretty much now I'm gonna talk to brushes so I use four brushes all the time um two angled brushes this one i usually use mainly just for the spoolie purpose but there are times i will grab this um brush if i am going to go ahead and use the powder um just to help you know brush it in then and this is the sedona lace eb17 brush then i always i always always or anytime I need hair-like strokes, if I'm using pomades and I want to make it look a little bit more natural, I always take my Sigma Wing Liner EO6 brush. As you guys can see, it's really small and tapered and it just does the job. Like It just makes those extremely, extremely thin, feathery, hair-like strokes. Um, and then I always take a concealer brush. This one that I'm going to be using today is the Crayon Case number 3 brush. So this one is small and I use this mainly for um, cleaning up the brows. Um, I usually don't go over the top of the brow um, unless I'm doing more of like a structured brow. Then I'll go over the top. But for the most part, I really don't clean up the top. I always just kind of clean up the bottom. Um, and then I always have my Sigma blending brush, the E25. This is what it looks like here. I use this um, for the purpose of when I am using my concealer or my P. Louise base. I use this to buff out the edges so that there isn't any harshness underneath and it doesn't look too painted. I was saying. So those are brushes um and then for like cleaning up purposes i always use my Louise base you guys already know this is like my die hard fave this can never do me any wrong i always use the shade two rumor two um i'm gonna be needing another one soon i'll probably just get the big one because i use this stuff literally like every time i do makeup but 
Um, I did get my hands on the Crayon Case Highlighted Concealer, and this is in the shade number four. So, past couple looks, I've actually used this because it actually matches my skin tone. So, if I did want to clean up the top, I will use this. Um, if I wanted to do something more natural or whatever, I can use this under the bottom as well. Now we're going to go in with pomade. <coughs> Excuse me. The pomade that I always use is my Crayon Case, crayon case um, Eyebrow Pomade and I use the shade Medium Brown. This stuff is like amazing. This is what it looks like here as you guys see. I pretty much dig deep in there. Um, this is a really good affordable dupe um, compared to the Anastasia Dip Brow. I used to swear by Dip Brow, um, but then I just stopped purchasing it because I noticed that it would dry out extremely fast. And even me using like a beauty oil and everything like that, it just wasn't helping for me anymore. Um, so I stopped purchasing it and then I found this guy and it just pretty much replaced it. So if you don't have the bucks for the ABH Dip Brow, then grab the crayon case because it's really really good um then um pencils so there's three brands that i use for pencils these i've always just grabbed because they just work so good for me the formula is great the pencil is thin enough um and it just does what i need it to do so um we're gonna go pretty much like i would say affordable to high end um, so the first one is the Morphe. This is their micro brow pencil. I use the shade, I think Chocolate Mousse is called. Yeah, I use the shade Chocolate Mousse. It is just amazing. The perfect shade. Um, it is like a darker color. I usually gravitate towards like more neutral shades. But anytime I want like a very precise darken the structured brow this is definitely the shade that i go for at all times and i've had this for quite some time already and i still have a lot of product left so a little goes a long way with this um the next one i don't even know which costs more abh or mac anyway we'll go in with the mac so i use the brow styler in spite i'll swatch this for you guys this is another one that a little goes a long way. As you guys see, the colors are very similar. Um, what I like about Spiked by MAC is that if you do very light pressure, you can get a different color. Um, if you are using this to get darker brows or using it on someone who has a, you know darker hairs, um, all it takes is to apply a little bit more pressure and then you can get that shade. I like that it's very buildable um, and it doesn't crumble up. There's times where I've used brow pencils and the product just crumbles up and it's just uh. So this is pretty much like a diehard fave thanks to P. Louise for actually introducing me to it because if not, I, I don't think I've ever would have purchased it. So last but not least is a cult fave, like I don't know how many brow wizards I've gone through over the years since I started makeup, um, but ABH brow wizards, I go in with medium brown, I could also go in with taupe, um, they both worked, work, not worked, work really nice for me. Um, that's it there, as you see this one is a lot lighter, so I usually go in with um, ABH if I want a more lighter, natural, quickly fill in type of brow. Um, but I love this stuff. It's freaking amazing. And I like that you can get it anywhere. Um, so yeah, these are the pencils that I use. Um, I only use one brow gel um, and this is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This is in the shade black, but it really isn't a black. It's like a really dark, dark brown. But this definitely has like a nice little spoolie. Um, and this actually like literally makes my brows stay in place. I have curly brows, as I've said. My hair is naturally curly, so this definitely keeps them in place. And 
I like too that it kind of gives it some of that definition when um, I'm done like filling in you know with powder or pomade or whatever it actually helps give that definition and really make your actual brow hairs stand out now for powders um, I only go for powders when I'm going to do a more natural fluffy type of brow just because for me with fluffy brows um, it's mainly like taking your natural brow hairs and natural brow shape and just kind of making it really messy and fluffy looking with some extra you know hair strokes if need be so I do like okay camera cut off so I do like to use powders for that purpose there's only two powders that, that I go for um, and I'm gonna share with you guys so my favorite is ABH ABH this is the brow Pro, Pro palette um, I got this for myself and also for clients um, and I like to go in with the shade soft brown or medium brown depending on what type of um, brow like what type of fluffy brow I'm gonna go for whether it's gonna be a natural looking fluffy brow or a more like defined fluffy brow with you know the carved out um, bottom or whatever so those are the two shades that I usually go for myself um, I love how it has two different shades so I actually tend to like mix the shades because sometimes for soft brown the darker shade um, could be a little too dark so I'll just put in a little bit more of the lighter shade which you will usually use for the inner um, part of the brow like the beginning um, but I just mix the two and it works completely perfect um, and the second one this one I just recently started using I heard so many good things about it and I just never bought it I don't know why I, I just never bought it um, but this is the draw cosmetics brow bar to go now this I got the shade medium to ebony I wouldn't use this if I'm gonna do like a more natural type of looking brow I'll use this if I want it to be a little bit more deeper um, and a little bit structured um, I'll go in with this one just because the shades are darker um, if you see here and it does come with a wax as well I have tried the wax but for me I don't know because I have like oily brows like my brows get really really oily the waxes never work for me at all like they don't um but this is a really really nice brow powder it blends really really nicely um so yeah this is another one that is turning into a fave and i also have a coupon code for you guys um get 30 percent off if you do happen want to try it okay so it'll be down below you can use it if you want to if you don't it's completely fine no big deal so that's pretty much all the products that i do use now i don't use all the products at once like i said it all depends on what kind of brow i want depending on the look i may grab my pencils i may grab my pomade i may grab my powders so i just wanted to show show you guys like my favorites when it comes to me doing a brow so now we can get into brows now we can get into actually doing the brows what i'm gonna do today i think i've been really loving um my natural ish type and i'm saying natural ish because i am gonna clean up the bottom of the brows um so my natural fluffy ish is i think it's called a, a structured fluffy brow um so that's what we're gonna do today and i'm gonna be using my pomade by the crayon case and i'm gonna be using my abh brow powder um as well and I'm gonna be, gosh, I'm gonna be using my P. Louise base. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do this brow first. Matter of fact, no, I'm gonna do this brow first because this is my good brow, and <laughs> this one always gives me trouble. So I'm going to do this brow first and I'm going to show you guys what I do. So I go ahead and I just take my pomade and I go ahead and I apply it on the back of my hand. I just, I just take up some product and then I apply it to the back of my hand 
just thinning out the product, making sure I don't have too much pomade on the brush, just enough. Okay, so that's what you want to do. And then I just start going in first where I have sparseness. So right here, um, the tail of the brow, and then right here in the beginning. So I just start mimicking hair like strokes. Not too much pressure, just enough to get a nice clean line. with my brow powder and I'm gonna use the shade soft brown let me just take it out of the palette I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna mix both shades like that tap off any excess and what I like to do is I actually like to brush my hairs downward and just lightly start to fill it in so that it has some type of tint to the brows. That way any like excess powder or whatever just gets cleaned up. And sometimes like fibers from the brow gel gets like a little messy so I just with my finger Alright you guys, so this is both brows done. Now my brows are definitely not twins, they're probably cousins. <laughs> um, they definitely like don't look like all the time, but this is pretty much how I do my brows. This is how they come out. Um, these are the brows that you guys have been loving lately. This is actually what I've been doing a lot lately for my um, looks um just because i feel like it just goes perfectly with every look so this is it here this is the natural go-to semi fluffy structured brow like i don't have that much hair but i mimic hairs all the time on my brows so yeah this is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoy this i hope it actually helped you guys um to achieve your brow goals um and please just remember 
this took a lot of practice so practice 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 you're not gonna get it down packed all the time um, I don't always have a good brow days so don't be discouraged if your brows don't come out like this it takes a lot of practice and a lot of patience um, and a lot of steady hands because to be honest with you trying to you know make hair like strokes you have to be like very very steady I always hold my breath when I'm doing it but yeah this is it please subscribe comment like this video if you enjoyed this type of video and again always follow me on other and follow me on instagram and twitter and snapchat if you want and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one